I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Let's take a look at some of 2021's hottest deer hunting gear and see how we can tip the scales in our favor for this deer hunting season. Another year, another deer. At least that's what hunters like me hope for. And what we can do sometimes is tip the scales in our favor. And we can do that with using the best gear. Now, a lot of times we think about the firearms, the optics, and the ammunition, but today we're gonna to look at some of 2021's hottest accessories. When we're in a tight tree stand or a blind where space is a consideration and we can't be moving around that much, I like to use a different rattling product. And there's one from Primos and there's one here from Hunter Specialties. This is called the Rutten Buck. They're just a little pack that have basically odd shaped wooden dowels inside along with a silencer that you can wrap around it so you're not accidentally making rattling noises. And all you need to do is pull that out of your pocket, just a little roll, you can rub it against your pant leg, and it just gives you that sound of rattling. Now a buck is seeing an intruder in its area and it's hearing rattling antlers, it's coming to see what's going on and that's gonna give you a shot and success in the white tail woods. Talked about eliminating our scent, adding some cover scent and an attractant scent, but what we need to know before we do all those things is about the wind. Which direction is the wind blowing? How hard is it blowing? That will affect where our scent is carrying and it also can affect bullet drift if we're taking long shots. So I always want to know about the wind. And to do that, you can certainly pull some grass and see where it drifts, but sometimes you want to make less of a motion. And to that end, I like the Primos wind checker. It's just a little plastic bottle. It has a powdery substance in it that's not scented. So I can pop this out of my pocket, open the top, give a couple puffs, and I can see that carrying off behind me. Now, if I know my target area for deer is back here, and I can see that's where the powder's drifting to, I don't want to be moving in a way where my scent is going where I think those deer are. You want to move into your hunting area to keep your scent out of that place and give yourself the best chance for success. And you can do that with a product that costs you a couple dollars. It lasts me at least five years for as much as I use these. You can make them yourself with baby powder, but be very careful. You don't want to be adding any scented product with a kind of a strange scent and spraying that out into the woods. So it's easier to spend a couple bucks, grab a Primos wind checker. It's a great stocking stuffer for hunters as well. You can't talk about deer hunting gear without talking about scent. Human scent is a huge thing when you're hunting not only deer, but many other types of game because those sniffers are hundreds of times better than they are for us as humans. So when we're talking about gear, I'm talking about today, three different things. We have one, a uh, scent blocking, which we could use a spray to cover our scent. Here I have some autumn killer dryer sheets from wildlife research. You can also get the unscented version. So before I go out hunting, I'm throwing all my clothes and my gear into the dryer with one of the dryer sheets. And that's just gonna help cover up any of those residual human odors. Even after you've washed your clothes, you don't want that detergent smell when you're sitting in your deer stand waiting on a big buck. The other thing we're talking in scent control is a cover scent. So we've nullified our own body smells that might be offensive to a white tail or other animals moving around. But sometimes we want a little extra cover to guarantee that if there is a little scent left, we're adding something more natural to our surroundings. And one of the most inexpensive products, and it's been around for a long time, are these Hunter Specialties scent wafers. They're little discs here in the package. The one that I like and have here is Fresh Earth. If you take these out and smell them, it smells like you took a handful of dirt up and you have that close to you. So that's something that a white-tailed deer is not going to find offensive in the stand or in their territory. We have scent eliminators, we have cover scents, and the last of the scent products is an attractant scent. And to that end, there are so many different products you can use. There's doe urines, and you can spend a ton of money on these things. But one of the easiest things that I like are these type of aerosol cans. And this one is basically a silly string in a can for hunters. That's the way you can think of it. And this is HME's scent web. They have different scents. There's food scents, there's a sweet corn, there's an acorn and there's lots of nice things like that. There's also some to put when you find deer scrapes and rubs. This one that I have here is called Sheduction. It's a doe urine, so I'm not messing with the drip bottles and worrying about getting it on my hands. All I have to do with this is pop the top off. I can stay at least 10 feet away from my target area, so I'm not bringing human scent contamination into it. And I can spray it up on a branch, just a couple short bursts. And what you're wanting to do 
is pull some bucks into that area. They're coming to see there's a doe in my area and we know the bucks are following the does at the hunting season. So this is what we're wanting to use to bring them in closer for close range shots. Deer hunting accessories don't necessarily need to be expensive to help you succeed in the field. And to that end, we'll look at a couple things starting with number one for being prepared for deer season is practice and range time. And good practice makes good hunters and great success in the field. And to do that, this year we're using Pro Shots Whitetail Targets. These are actual life-size targets, so you're getting the look of that deer, whether you're shooting at 100 yards, 200 yards, or wherever you are. You're not just shooting at a grid pattern. But this is the nice thing. I always like to sight in with the grid pattern where you're having the quarter or half inch increments. This one still gives you that grid overlay, but with the life-size deer behind it. So you get the best of both worlds in one target. What you get on the Irish Setter Pinnacle boot that I have here, which is the uninsulated version, is the ground sensing sole, which really lets you get a good feel of what's underfoot so you're not doing the extra crunching and stepping on sticks and things that make noise. The neat thing that I like is what they call temp sense. So, and I don't know how they do it, it's their technology that's supposed to allow a regulated temperature for your foot so you're not overheating when the weather's warm and it's not getting overly cold. And it also has scent band technology. So there again is that scent we're talking about. We don't need foot odor when we're hunting in the woods. The cool thing that you notice when you look at these boots is a strange pattern on the outside and that's actually leather. This is a camouflage leather that's made in Red Wing, Minnesota. The boots themselves are made overseas, but the leather is from Minnesota. So that's something that I like and it's a cool earth pattern leather. They're light, these are uninsulated. They're great for early season hunting. I've been comfortable whenever I'm hunting in them and I plan to continue using them. Thanks for joining me as we took a look at just a few great deer hunting options. There are tons more out there on the market, but I hope this narrows down a few choices for you as you head out to the woods this fall. We wish you the best of luck on your deer hunting season. And if you need any of this gear or other options, be sure to head on over to guns.com and check out the vault for all kinds of accessories. I'm Kristen for guns.com. Good luck in the hunting woods.